Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be showing you guys the best training values to be doing right now. So, originally it was at a different list for this, but then right as I was making it, the prices went back down. So, right now, what kind of changed the whole thing was that Tom Brady is extraordinarily cheap right now, which is throwing me off because I probably should have sold mine for 180. But even with that being so, it seems like this still might not be the best training option, which is weird because you think something that cheap. So Brady's actually 93k. He's on the way back up right now. If you guys have a chance, I'll probably go buy a Brady if you can for 80 to 90k. I don't know why he was just so cheap. But what I'm trying to say here is, guys, is that if you're new, go comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure to sub. And let's hit 50 likes in the video if we could, guys. I'm trying to get like goals going so that we can start building our way back up and start to get consistency to our channel. But let's get into the video. So first things first, let's look at all the total players. So, so guys, the 80 overalls go for 8,100. So if you divide that 8,100 divided by, they go for 190. That is 42 points for training. So that's not really the best option right now. Now the 81s go for, it's looking like 9K right here. So let's go 9K divided by 265 which is what they sell for that's 33.9 coins for training so we'll round up to 34 coins for training that's so far looking like the best one now let's work our way up obviously so i keep showing you guys each each and every one for all you guys trying to get training right now so 82 overalls sell for 365 so let's see they go for 13,000 divided by what was that 365 so 35.6 points for training. So 35.5 around two, 35 and a half. So, so far the 82s are still looking pretty good. Now let's check out the 83s. The 83s go for, obviously these prices are very to change depending on what comes out. The launch bundle and the game's launch will definitely change them, which I'll just revisit if I have to. The 83s are about like 20K. So, so let's see, 83s are 20K and they go for 505. So, so 20K divided by 505. Goes for 39.6. So that's not looking too good either. I'm honestly feeling the, 82, the 81s right now. All right. Now, going into the 84s. The 84s are like they actually could be pretty good right here because they go for 700. So Drew Brees is 24,000. What about 700? They're 34. Okay, so they're, they're like tied with the, 30, um, the 82s right now. Let's see what the 85s go for. The 85s are going for... Yeah, there's a lot of 84s. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really feeling the 85. But that's gonna be like, that's gonna be like 40k. So 40k divided by, let's see, 970 is going to be 41. So that's not gonna be going. And by the way, what I've been saying is 41 coins for training. So every training point costs 41 coins. So so far the 81s are looking like, I think it was 33.9 coins per training so that's the best one which doesn't sound like a lot but trust me it adds up it really does especially when you're buying a ton of training so now the 86s go for let's go 48k 48k divided by 1340 so th that's actually 35 coins per training which is very very close now let's see where the 87 okay david bakhtiar i know when you look him up he goes for like 62 so 62k divided by 1340 this one might actually be pretty good. 46. No, it's actually ass. I thought it'd be a little better than that. All right. Now, this one might actually be okay. This one, this one right here, because Brady is pretty cheap right now. Let's see, 88K divided by, what do they go for? 2570. 34 points for training. So this ties the little ones, like the 82s, but I mean the 81s, but I'd probably go with the 81s just because if you look at it, the 81s are going to be, you could buy more of them, so like you could really vary your training. Like you buy Brady, you have to 88K all in one shot gone. At least the 81s, you can buy them by the piece and know you're still efficiently buying, you know what I'm saying? So like the 88 for Brady, like it used to be always to buy the top card, which is good and all until you realize that if you buy the top card, it kind of throws you off because you have to have, you have all that training in one shot, 88K down the drain. At least with the 81s, you can kind of control it. So it's like to recap, look, it's 9K divided by 265 which is 33 so like let's say you need only 600 training you could buy since they go for 265 you could buy 
two of them, let's say. 200, two of them. That's it, only um, 18K. And you're still buying them efficiently at a good rate. Now, before it'd be like you'd have to spend the 88K. You only needed like 20K worth of training, but it didn't make sense to buy 40K for little players just to get that. It made more sense to spend the 80, if you get what I'm trying to say there. So, in essence, surprisingly, the highest overall cards in this game are not the best training values. The 81s, surprisingly, are, which is weird because if you remember Madden from last year, it was always the highest overall. Like, the highest overall, the highest new card was always the banger. Like, that was always the best one for training. So, this is like kind of, this is kind of different and kind of weird. It's usually never the cheap cards, but I guess they're there because they're very close to 80. So, in my opinion, all this says is that the market's going to change when we get into the launch day and like the game starts regulating because typically the lower cards should not all be this tightly close together. They should, they'll probably separate a little bit. So like these might, the, the 80s are going to come down, but I think these 81s will probably go up to like 13K when people start buying a bunch of training. They'll probably go up a little bit, not a lot, but enough to, enough to vary. So let's see if they go up to 13K divided by 265. Yeah, 49 coins for training. But if they're 9K divided by 165. Okay, I messed something up. Oh, that's why. But if they're 9K divided by 265, they're 33. So that little few K and change will throw it off completely. So if it goes up to 13K, they're not longer, they're no longer the best value, even close. So right now they're, they're, they're what this shows is that they're very underpriced. Like these cards should come up a little bit more, in my personal opinion. And when that does, it will most likely, it will be more than likely that these are the best, but I don't think these are going to stay. These can't, I think Brady should come back up to like 120, 130, and then I guess I'd probably sell mine. I was holding on to him thinking he wouldn't be this cheap, but he's looking like he is going to be this cheap, which kind of sucks. I don't know why they're that cheap right now, but it looks like, the, it doesn't look like the market's going to trend down though. It looks like everything's going up, just the quarterback's coming down, which could also be a factor because they have the Mahomes. They're saying that they're going to give us an 87 Mahomes now, possibly. So if that is the case, it's going to throw off the whole quarterback market, which then will make quarterbacks probably the best value in the game at that moment. But, you know, time, time will tell. Not entirely sure yet. You know, I hope they give it to us. It will make quarterbacks cheaper, but then again, I have my homes. So it'll be kind of upsetting to get them for free. I don't really know. It's going to be, it's going to be tough. I have to make a decision here on what I'm going to do with my quarterbacks. And then obviously I'll affect training, though. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this list hope it's helpful for you guys i tried to i mean it wasn't really that hard to do it's just it's common knowledge for most people but if you guys didn't already know that is it 81s are the best it's looking like that i forgot who that was pierce maybe defensive tackle whatever his name was for the ravens looking like the best one okay so guys real quick while i was recording the prices changed a little bit so what i said about the 88s and the 89s are not the same anymore because tom brady is back up to 120 surprisingly yeah i, I told you guys if you if you watched the video, you should have bought it already, but obviously it didn't even last that long. So Tom Brady's already back up, so the 88s and 89s are back to being not even close to a good value, so stick to the 81s. Those look like the best ones. The 87s came down a little bit, and the 84s came down a little bit, but not really that relevant. Just stick with the 81s, 88s, 89s are back up like they should be. I'm kind of concerned. I should probably sell Brady while I have the chance. But that's it, guys. Hope this helped you guys out a lot. Hope you guys didn't buy anything. Wall speak. I hope you guys didn't buy Brady. But obviously, like I said, I mean, by the time you watch this video, it wouldn't be worth it. I did say only buy my 80k. So, guys, that's it. Get into the video. Just recap it real quick. Obviously, you want to sort these. You don't want to do these just straight up. So, if you're going to do. Oh, it's Brandon Williams. Okay, if you're going to do Brandon Williams, you want to search for Ravens. Obviously, once more videos come out on these guys, they're going to go up a ton. So, you get on this quickly. If you need training, obviously. I'm not a big fan. I don't need training yet. I'm waiting for the full game to come out and then I'm going to start my training because. Power-ups are way too expensive right now. Way too expensive. But hope you hope this helped. Remember, be smart. Don't be dumb. Don't don't be buying 80s. Don't be quick selling your goals. Don't be quick sell your goals. Your goals go for a lot. Sell your goals and use that to buy training because it's not worth selling the goals for quick sell for training. It's just not. Guys, that's it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to drop a sub. It helps me a lot. Like I said, every sub that I gain just keeps adding up onto the pile of what we're trying to build here. My goal is about. 8 to 10k sub by Christmas. I mean, it's going to be very hard, but I think we can do it. I'm going to be grinding 2 to 3 videos, two, 2 to 5 videos a day. That's what I'm really going for. Today's, I've been a little busy because my girlfriend's birthday this week, but I'm trying to grind out as many videos as I can in the meantime. But guys, also make sure to hit the like. Let's get to 50 likes in this video. If we can consistently start getting 50 likes per video, it'll really help the channel a lot. It'll really help us it'll help us get back to being recommended and being up there on the first page again. So guys, let's get it. Let's, let's get it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.